This is my hardcore Iron Man that cannot leave PvP worlds. The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and if you are the one to kill my hardcore Iron Man, you will receive the bounty on screen. Oh my god. I have one goal for the start of this episode and that is 60 prayer to unlock the prayer chivalry. And to get to 60 prayer I'm gonna catch dragon implings for dragon bones and I'm gonna kill ensouled heads for prayer experience. And from this video's first dragon impling we got dragon darts. Dragon impling? Yes we got a dragon impling. Please? No! Finding dragon implings in pvp worlds is quite rare. So I decided to kill NPCs all across of RuneScape to get those insult heads for prayer. And while doing this, I got plenty of levels. 83 magic? 79 hit points? 71 defense? Oh, 83 range. Oh, he saw that. <laughs> 85 thieving, 72 defense, 57 prayer. Who's that? He fell! The PK fell in the trapdoor. 84, right? 80 hit points, 68 attack, 86 thieving. And this is 58 prayer, beautiful. 69 attack. This is where we end it. 70 attack, beautiful. Let's get out of here. We can now equip Barrow's items. Let's have a look here in the bank. We got the Aram Staff right here. Oh, Aram Staff give plus five magic damage. That's actually big. Okay, that's actually a huge upgrade. Then we got the Varus Flail, useless. Darius Great Axe, useless. Whoa, hello, giant champion scroll. Okay, uh, we're done here. And I have found a dragon impling. Thank you. Please give me dragon bones, please. No! 59 prayer. One level to go and then we're done here. Uh, pizza guy number one. Oh. <laughs> I was just gonna go up. I found this King Scorpion spot for prayer experience and we just got 73 defense. There we go. 85 range. Beautiful. Okay, this is it. Uh, the moment I have been waiting for. I have been grinding 11 days of this bond just to get myself 60 prayer and there we go 60 prayer has been completed this prayer is so good it gives an additional plus 5% defense compared to the steel skin and also while prayer flicking it's so much easier just pressing the chivalry compared to the the three other symbols and also I am now 91 combat I started this grind at 87 combat but before we continue any further this video is actually sponsored by the like button. If you do like this video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and let's continue the video. 67 crafting. We can now make ring onyx rings. Alright, time for some weekly rune crafting training. We start at 31, we get 35 rune crafting. 81 hit points, 65 herblore. What can we do? Sand fuse. Oh, we can do sand fuse. Sand fuse serum combines the properties of super resource and super anti poison. So, in the case someone venoms me, I will save one inventory slot on a super anti poison by just bringing a sand fuse serum. It's a verb! <laughs> ah, PvP verb! Uh, how do you even make these? Step 2. Oh, there we go. Sand fuse zerums have been unlocked. Beautiful. 68 cooking. Tuna potatoes, here we come. And we have made tuna potatoes. My new best in slot food. Way, yay, woo. Okay, there's a dragon impling outside. I need to get that. There's so many dragon implings spawning here in farming skills. I'm wondering if we're gonna get some dragon bones now. Snapdragon seeds, okay. Uh, I think this is the first barrel chest in like one month for me or like two weeks at least so here we go uh, Please anything Nothing uh, 80 kill count still nothing Okay, no more barrels Ho 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 what you doing there 61 fletching uh, Ooh, add the crossbow balls that's actually big, but I need the smithing level, sadly. And we got the dragon impling. Beautiful. Okay, please, dragon bones. Please. Uh, okay. That's uh, 50k high elk. Okay. Ooh, that's a huge level. 80 mining. 
pretty big. <sighs> I really need to go basement, but there are like five billion people here. Right, I got all the way. No way! They had a guy waiting over there. Sixty-nine cooking and seventy cooking. A huge level because this is the requirement for Barrow's gloves. Now, as the hunters think I'm going to go here. I'm gonna do something else. It's been a while since we've been here. Still looking for that Dragon Warhammer. <clears throat> I think I've actually underestimated how good the crystal bow is here at the Lisbon Sheamus. I'm getting so much kills and so much money so quickly. Just in 30 minutes I've made like 140k. Oh my god, he was quick. Alright, that's another successful trip to the Seamus and we made like 140k more. Very nice. Do I wanna unlock Jad? See, I have 391 points. I'm actually gonna unlock Jad task because that's a lot of experience if I manage to get one. So, 100 points, gone. Please give us a good task. Yeah, that's a skip. And that is 53 Slayer. First level here. Please, Jax, if you're hearing this, Please make cannons available in PvP worlds. And that is 54 Slayer. We are on the 5 hour log right now. I'm exhausted. Staring into the minimap while doing Slayer is probably the worst thing ever. As you all know, the black mask on RuneScape gives a player 16% boost when training Slayer. However, the requirement to obtain a black mask is 58 Slayer to kill cave horrors. However, I do have these wild pies. And on my previous two Iron Men, I got the Black Mask very, very quick. So we're gonna gamble here. Take the Wild Pies as a boost and hope we get a very fast Black Mask. Oh, I thought this Ensembled Horror Head was a Black Mask. Sad. <gasps> we got lucky! We got lucky! We got lucky on the Black Mask! Let's go look at me! With one wild pie left, we actually finally got it. I look like a beast. Thank you, Jagex. Once again, I am lucky on the black mask grind. Look at that. 69 cave horrors have been defeated. Okay, so now we only have one problem. We have 260 points, and to unlock the Slayer helmets, we need 400 points. Okay, Slayer tasks have been completed. Uh, 12 points received. So now I have to start skipping tasks to get those quick points and unlock Slayer helmet. Let's go. Complete it, complete it, complete it, complete it, subscribe, subscribe. All right, I want a good task from Neve, please. Steel dragons, okay. I'm actually gonna do it, but before I do it, I need to imbue my black mask because I need those bonuses from ranging. And you gotta do it from Nightmare Zone. 1.2 million points. So as you can see right here, Nightmare Zone is unavailable on PvP worlds. Uh, so I will have to be forced to go to a non-PvP world to imbue my black mask. Uh, this is one of the exceptions I'm making here. And since I'm hopping to a non-PVP world, I will have to put my private off so people don't get mad at me. So if this is something you are mad about, leave your frustration in the comments down below. The black mask has now been imbued. This means we are now getting a 15% bonus to ranged and magic on Slayer tasks. Since I got the Steel Dragon task, uh, I need to pick up some of these Blue Dragon scales uh, so I can make Antifires. I got 65 Herb Lore. We need 69 Herb Lore to make Antifires and I can boost up actually, so we're gonna do that. Okay, I think that's enough. Yeah, we can go potentially finish the Steel Dragon task. Oh, 55 Slayer, beautiful. And that should be the final kill. Yep, task completed. 60 points received. Uh, I got this hot clue scroll and this will be step one completed. 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 Uh, wait, we got a casket. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Three, two. He's standing in the way. Three, two, one. Oh my God, that's actually depressing. Please give us a good one from Neve. Black Dragons 19, that's easy game. Thank you. Task have been completed. We got 60 more points. We are seven points away from a Slayer helmet. Beautiful. Oh, we got a Jad task. Beautiful, that's 25k experience as well. I've collected my entire cash stack, 770k. I need to recharge this crystal bow. How much for a bow? 720k. 56 Slayer, beautiful. Can you die now? Thank you. And it's dead! 57 Slayer, beautiful, new PB, nice. 
and we're out and no one is outside if we look at that, 400 points, we can now make our Slayer Helmet. But just before we do that, we're gonna gamble this cape. So the gambling, it always starts with just one thing, a cape. And then it turns into my savings account. And in one week, I'm gonna be homeless. Here we go, let's gamble the cape for a pet. Not lucky, never lucky. There we go, rewards by Neve. Unlock the Malvern Masquerade. 400 points for 55 crafting. We can now make Slayer Helmets, so let's go. Okay, let's try this. Boom, we have the Slayer Helmet I imbued. If we look at the upgrades from the beer head to the Slayer Helmet plus 3 magic defense bonus to the Slayer Helmet. And it's much nicer fashion scape. The Slayer Helm era has finally begun. And subscribe! If you haven't already, 45% of you who are watching right now are not subscribed, so if you're one of them, please feel free to subscribe. And of course, the bounty have increased by 50 mil, plus 50 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 8 mil, plus 5 mil, plus 15 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 20 mil, plus 15 mil, plus 30 mil, plus 25 mil, plus 320 mil, putting the bounty at 9 billion 160 million. So this week is a very special week here in Sweden. It is graduation week for high school students. And in Sweden, we are celebrating high school graduation in a very special way. Follow me. What you see on screen right now is a high school student class on a truck filled with a bunch of alcohol. These trucks with students drives around the streets of Sweden while the students party all day long. A lot of accidents happen this time of the year, but it's also one of the most fun things I've ever done. And if you have any interesting graduations in your country, let me know, I would love to hear them. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It's been a while since we got 1000 likes, so if we can hit that, it would be great. Yeah, see you guys in one week, I hope. Bye.